Amy Chow and this is Amy Black's Chow's Stupidly Simple Sex. Today I am with my friend Rupa of Raspberry Eggplant, which is a vegetarian and baking blog. I actually met Rupa at the Brooklyn Chocolate Experiment when she won. You want to tell us a bit about what you made? I made a Thai inspired chocolate ice cream in little tiny cones made with cocoa and Thai basil and ginger and topped off with coconut milk dusted crushed peanuts. Today we're going to make shortbread cookies. The ingredients you'll need for this snack are one cup of flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and stir the flour and the salt together. Then put your little bowl of flour and salt to one side. In a actual mixing bowl, you take one stick of unsalted butter and you just put it in there. Add a quarter cup of sugar. Actually, it's a quarter cup and a tablespoon of sugar. So now we're gonna add flavoring. If it's a dry flavoring, you add it to the flour and the salt. Today we are going to make Earl Grey tea shortbread cookies. Mix together the tea bags with the flour and the salt, like that. If you want to make lemon shortbread cookies, just zest the lemon and add the zest to the wet ingredients, which is the butter and the sugar bowl. Don't add the tea. So now we have to cream the butter and sugar together. Medium speed? Mm -hmm. What's medium speed? Now you add flour to the butter mixture. And then mix it on the lowest speed just until the flour is combined. Scrape down the sides of the bowl. Put it in the freezer for 15 minutes to chill. As the dough is freezing, you can just preheat the oven to 350 degrees. oven for about, about 12 minutes, um, just until they start getting a little bit golden brown around the edges. You don't want them to get very brown. So after you let the cookies cool completely, you can transfer them onto a plate and then serve them. You can follow Rupa on Twitter and also on her blog, Raspberry Eggplant. You can find my other videos on amyblockshow.com and I will see you again next Tuesday. Bye. Okay. And then I take this out. Oh, oops, sorry. It's not really nice.